Years ago, the American Council on Aging put together a list of the 10 biomarkers of health and longevity that they considered to be the most important for living a longer life. And coincidentally, especially if you've been following my channel, you may know what I'm about to say, all 10 of those biomarkers are made better significantly through the type of training that I advocate for seniors and elderly and heck, anyone, even if you're in your 40s, 50s, and getting older, we start thinking about these things. When we start to feel our health maybe deteriorate, feel less energy, things of this nature. So I have a free gift for everybody that comes to my channel. And all you gotta do is head down to the comments section and look there. It is a free PDF guide that will teach you all of the beginning most important things that you need to know when starting this life-giving workout on your own. Go ahead and download that, that is free for you. There's also a link to my course. For the past seven years, I've been teaching this method one-on-one. -on -one. And in this course, I distill everything that I've learned from working with clients over the past seven years all in one place for you to be able to have a hands-on guided approach to how to live a longer life with this method. There's also an application for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Of course, that's out of some people's budget, but if you need that, it is there for you. And I have probably one more slot left that you'd be able to take. So talking about these 10 biomarkers, you know, the first two on this list are muscle mass and strength. And I've seen it in all of the clients' lives that I've worked with over time. And in this original speech that Dr. McGuff gave multiple times on the internet, I'll leave a link to it down below, you know, he talks about the same exact experiences that I've had with clients working with them. And that's just people simply throwing their canes away, throwing away their walkers, being able to get around with more mobility. And of course, the reason is that functional ability and balance are directly associated with how much strength we have, how much muscle mass is on our body. Coincidentally enough, when we do this intense workout, when we change our body in this way, it actually also promotes every other one of these biometrics for health and longevity because we discovered less than 20 years ago that the muscle system in the body is actually an endocrine organ. And it secretes these life-giving proteins called myokines that flood the body in amazing ways. And they even make us biologically younger. And there's studies I'll get into in other videos and that I've talked about in the past as well. But what's incredible about this method of training for seniors and elderly, especially because those among us whose bodies have begun to deteriorate, who don't have a good gauge or a metric of how to change that, because society, they have this odd preconception about elderly people that once you get past a certain age, you're just not able to do real exercise anymore. And that is completely false because gym culture just doesn't understand how to remain safe when doing it. What you typically find is over about 10 to 12 years, people will lose about 30% of their overall strength and muscle mass over time. That amount of strength can be regained in less than a year in this type of training. In fact, just like Dr. McGuff has noticed, like I said earlier, we see that there are seniors and elderly in their 80s that are stronger than we are in our 40s after just doing this for a year or two, which is just absolutely incredible. In fact, a lot of the seniors, the, the men that I've trained over the years, have, have all had more upper body strength, the men have, than I have. Because my legs are very strong, just genetically, I grow lots of muscle there in my upper body, not so much. And so, 
everybody's going to be different and unique where our genetic threshold for building muscle in certain places is. This may be hard to believe, but in the emergency room, elderly falls and breaks have far exceeded gun or knife traumas, which is really intense. The majority of calls that people get into the emergency room, doctors having to go in there, is really elderly and seniors falling. And as common as it is in our day and age for that to be the norm, for people to just deteriorate over time, there isn't a norm established that says this doesn't have to happen, but it really doesn't have to happen. If you were to do this type of exercise, then it would be the most life-changing thing that you've ever done in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. And, you know, I find that most individuals, especially coming to YouTube, can't really put in four to $700 every single month for one-on-one -on -one personal training. So like I said, I have made this course available to as many people as possible. Please check the link down below if you really need an approach to learn how to live longer, to strengthen your muscles and in turn change all of the rest of those biomarkers that I'm going to continue to talk about. This improves your bone density, your body composition, losing fat, gaining muscle, also cholesterol, um, blood pressure, hemodynamics, your blood glucose control, also aerobic capacity, your ability to breathe deeper, your gene expression, this actually even makes us biologically younger and kills Alzheimer's or improves brain factors. All of these are improved with this workout. So like I said, there is a free PDF down below to at least get started working with this. And of course, I do have that offering for my course and for one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need it. So please just get started in some way. If you haven't yet, I want to give you all the tools that you can to change your life and live longer. I want every single person here to benefit and live longer from this workout.